This is the installed video for the version 2 uh, full metal lens assembly. So we've got an upgrade kit, we've got a full kit, and then these are not included, but they are required. So for the different kits, basically, if you already own uh, what is our version 1 lens kit, lens assembly with the metal nozzle, you only need to get the upgrade kit because that gets you the new metal lens body and the magnetic uh, lens ring. If you don't already have one of our nozzles and you've been holding out, now is the time because you can get a full kit which includes the magnetic ring, the new lens body, and our air assist nozzle. So as I said, these are not included, but they are required. First off, this is just the lens body ring from the OEM lens that came with your home tech polar. And then these are just the couple of different lenses that are compatible. This is the American Photonics magnetic lens. It's the, the equivalent of this ring, but with the lens already glued inside. So it's a nice convenient form factor, and we all know that American Photonics makes nice lenses. This is your standard 15mm loose lens. It just sits right inside our ring. Any 15mm lens would work, whether it's from American Photonics, Cloud Ray, any other company you found. I just leave that up to you, and that just gives you the option. And so the big, the biggest convenience factor of this upgrade is the magnetic lens retention. It doesn't really get much easier and more convenient than it just magically snapping on like that. And that works with the American Photonics lens as well. And now we will head over to the laser to show you how to install it. So now that we're over at the laser, I'm going to show you how to remove the OEM uh, lens assembly. If you've already got my previous lens assembly, you probably already know how to do this, so you can just skip ahead. But for those who don't, first off, just remove the magnetic cover and set that to the side. Next, we are going to pull the air assist hose off and just kind of set that off to the side out of your way. And then there is this lock ring on the bottom right here. Loosen that up and then you can turn the lens assembly to get better access to this little elbow guy. And you can turn that off Set this to the side, we won't be using it. And now you continue taking this lock ring off. You'll want to set this to because we will be using this. Move the lens body, but as you can see, it's kind of hitting this top mirror here. So what you can do is just manually turn the Z axis just to give yourself a little more room. And that's the stock. OEM lens assembly. Again, set that to the side, hold on to it for a spare. We will be taking our new uh, lens body and just setting it in there. The lock ring, and that will just thread on to the bottom here. Just get it started for now. Don't worry about tightening it up. You just the air assist nozzle and get that started. Always be careful when you're starting to thread these just so that you don't accidentally cross thread it. Um, just because that obviously would ruin your day. Once you've got that tightened on, just kind of get it lined up over towards where the air assist hose comes in. And just push that air assist hose on, 
to the locker ring, I just press down on the top and just get it nice and finger snug. Now it's all mounted. All right, now for the most difficult part of this installation, installing the lens. If you are using a 15 millimeter loose lens, there's a couple things to know. First off, you need to know which way is up. Typically, if you can see your face, kind of like how you can see the camera in the lens right now, that means that goes up, just like so. Secondly, this will sit approximately half a millimeter higher than the OEM lens, so therefore you will need to um, run a focus test or a ramp test just to verify what your focus distance is. Just grab your magnetic ring and simply pop it onto the top and it will snap into place magically because, well, magnets. And that's as hard as it is. For removing, you just simply pull it off. Typically try and go straight up just so that you don't potentially send your lens flying off to the side. You can set those over, clean them up, whatever it is that you have to do. And the same kind of deal for the American Photonics, but since the lens is glued in, it's even easier because it's one piece. Similar to the loose lens, the American Photonics lens does sit higher. It sits about one and a half millimeters. So again, verify with the focus test. Alrighty, and that is the lens installed. If you have any questions, reach out and I will try and do my best to make sure you get taken care of. Magnets.